just like to ask Caroline first. Um, uh, how do you think it will benefit new startups, this particular book, Caroline? Do you know, if, I think before I answer that question, I want to say I'm not surprised it's on number 91 because the content is really valuable. So it's not, it's not something that you know, I'll say yeah, it's, it's quite shocking, but actually I did, I did read the book and wow, it is a really good book to benefit from. And so in answering your questions about startups, um, I think it's, I'm one who really believes in systems. And I want to have a system because I can follow something step by step and get there. Because I believe that when you follow something straight through as it's written, you actually eventually arrive, arrive there. And that's uh, the base of my own success is because I followed a system. Because I'm not that, uh, I'll say the word, inter, uh, not intellectual, but I'm not very academia. So I want to see something and say, tell me how to do it and I'll follow it through and I'll get there. So the book is one that will just, you know, take you right from the start to finish and of course, actually another point, it's not just for startups. For my own business, I actually had to take, give the book to my techie and say, look, have a look, you haven't done that, why am I not here, why am I not doing that? So it's not just for startups, even for actually existing businesses, it's a very valuable book. Fantastic. Um, Fiona, um, uh, why do you think somebody should read it before starting? Um, because it, it has things in it that you you wouldn't even think of yourself. It has it has um, the most unexpected bits and pieces for website uh, startups. Um, I mean, I, I kept trying to catch pull her out. I kept thinking, oh, oh, oh she hasn't got. The, oh, there it is. <laughs> and, oh, she's, oh, oh, there it is. Yeah, there it is. I mean, stuff like Flash. I've never heard of Flash before. Things like um, you know, creating advertising revenue that hadn't actually even occurred to me because I was starting a charity website. So there's just so many aspects that don't even occur to you. And I've gone, I mean, mine is just covered with highlighting pens. So I just think, just read it and don't assume you know everything. Just read it for the aspects that, that you haven't thought of. And was there any one thing in particular that you particularly liked about the some aspect of its content or the writing style? It is just really chatty. That's, I mean, I did sit and read it in one sitting, I just went through it. And that, that for a techie book is quite extraordinary. I mean, I'm kind of, you know, I cut my teeth as a, as a tabloid hack, you know, a thousand words is a lot to me. 60,000 is, is phenomenal. <laughs> in fact, I think it's 80,000. It's extraordinary. Um, and to, to just make it flow like you do, and just, and just you know, one chapter just segs into another is just great. And, and for you the same thing, Alan? Did Absolutely. You, did you, did you, they were the sort of thing, was there any one thing in particular that you thought, well, I really do enjoy this particular aspect. You, you, know, you, you obviously learned quite a bit on the content side, but the, the flow and how it was written as well, you found it easy to read? That's right. I found, I found it easy to read, but also, I mean, yeah, for me, the greatest thing is, is the content, because I'm looking for certain key things that I can apply. But actually, it, it's written so well and easy for you to understand. It's not complicated, it's not jargon, and, you know, having to think more well about that is quite straightforward. Yeah. Um, it was interesting earlier on, Karen said she doesn't believe it's possible now to have a business without a website, and I have to say I'm, I'm there as well. There was a book launch re recently, I think it was called something like you know, How to Run Your Business Without a Website, and I'm like, let's keep an eye on this, this is quite interesting. That's yeah. strange. Yeah. I mean, what, what's your view on you've got to have a website or you haven't? Is it, is it something that really does go with business territory? My view is you've got to have a website, because uh, but the way that I look at it is uh, how else will somebody know about you? How else do they know you, you exist? And two, people will not just buy because they see that you know it's all glossy, the paper looks fabulous. People want to be able to go and do their own research. And how will they do a research on your people going to check? Because now we know technology, things have just gone you know, way that way. And it's for us to make sure, even if I'm just starting up or it's for my, you know, uh, my own personal use is having something that people can reference to and to check up on you. Yeah. Okay. Um, and can I, sorry, just, can I just add that even if people, when, the minute people hear you, hear of you, what do they do? They Google you, don't they? Absolutely. Yeah. And if you don't have a website, yeah, that's yeah. just an opportunity. Yeah. So it, it really is a must have thing. Yeah. Okay. And, and what, what, what are your experiences of um, you know, this murky world of development? Do you think it really is that tricky and that this is going to help people combat? I put my, yeah, no, I put, before I came across uh, Paula's book, I put my ideas out uh, to tender and I was quoted ridiculous amounts of money from £15,000 to £2,000. How on earth do you make a decision 
about that. It, you just, without a, an in-depth knowledge of of um, what your website requires and um, what it's going to say, what it all means, you know, and this book sets that out yeah. because you, you know it's just you know it's a minefield. And, and have you found the same thing, Caroline? It's, it's, it, it's difficult. It's a difficult area to deal with. You, the, you don't have the expertise, and people play it up is. on that. That's right. Up. It is, that's right. Well, for myself, is the, I got into it, and unfortunately, I paid a lot of money to get my website all sorted out. And, and, but now I know there's some things that they didn't do that I can go back and say, hang on a minute, I can actually you know, rectify those things because now I know there's a simple understanding that there's some things that I can do to, to make it work. And have you had any experience of how developers have reacted to this? So you, you go to them and suddenly there's a big reservoir of knowledge. That's right, I did, did yes. Yeah. I, I, I took the book to my techie guy and I said, well, um, John, we didn't do that. Do you know why? And he says, well, uh, I've got to check up on that one, Callum, because, you know, this is too new. And he just had every excuse for him. And I thought, got you. You can just didn't do it properly. But, yeah, I have had a response. Uh, yeah. And Fiona, you've got two new websites? Yeah, I'm currently being built. Yeah, and, and do you think this will, will there be any part of this book, do you think, in, in there as much as you can? It just means that I can go to the people that are doing my book, you know, um, and, and I know I can talk on that level. And I know, or I, I can use the language that they use and uh, let them know that um, they can't take me for a ride. Yeah.